Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this is the second video for the series of the series of uh, practice for beginners in Solid Edge. And as you can see in this drawing here, in this video, we need to build this part which has a base and the two wings or some kind like a two uh, thing. Okay, so now we'll take advantage of the symmetry we have in the part so we can build the, the thing in a very efficient way. Let me go to the draft sheet and look at here is a front view, the top view, and the right side view. As you can see, the way I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start first by making a plane parallel to the right, uh, the front view, uh, front plane, and then. <coughs> Uh, about how much it is to here, 42, so half of it, so we need 21. So I'm going to build a plane here, so now I'm going to start the sketch on this plane, and do the extrusion, and then make a mirror around the front plane to get the other side, and then after that I'm going to build uh, the base. Usually I start with the base and put the other feature on it, but in this case I, 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 I change the order, because really when you have parts, that or a certain section of a part that connected with the base and so on and then you try to make a mirror of it sometimes it give you an error or sometimes it doesn't come good or some kind of so to avoid this issue i this is why i start by making first the the front uh, the, the the top parts here okay so let's go to solid edge i'm going to have the reference plane I'm going to create a plane parallel to the front plane. So I'm going to click on the front plane. So the handle will come. So I'm going to click on the arrow. So I can move parallel. And how far? 21 millimeter. And then I can lock myself to this new plane. So I'm going to say, okay, circle by center. Go to the new plane. Lock yourself to it. I'm locked already to the planes. I see the F3. Means that I'm okay now. So let's go to the front view. And also let's hide the, the base reference field. Okay. We will do that. So now I'm going to start with the circle by center. And the diameter is 30. And I need it aligned with the center of the the, the, the coordinate axis, so I'm going to put it somewhere here. Now the distance should be 13 from the center of the circle to the x-axis. This should be 13, so I'm going to put 13. Now the next step is I need to draw the line, the horizontal line. The length is 30, and the angle is 0, so I have the line. It's going to start from the center. Okay, so now I have this, and I need to draw a, a tangent line to this circle here. So now I'm done with this. Now I click it out. I need to make a mirror of this, these two lines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight or select, select these two, these two lines. Yeah, okay. And make a mirror. Around what? Around the Z axis. So we're going to have it. Okay, we succeeded on that. Just to make sure that uh, this line is tangent to the side. Okay, good. Okay, that's very good. So now let's uh, trim, do the trim. Get rid of this one, get rid of this one, and get rid of this one. Did a circle by center. So we can do the other circles here. So the first one is going to be, I'm going to start with the smaller one, 6 millimeter. I like this thing, okay, so I can go to the center. I'm going to click. The next one is 12. Do 12. And it's going to come here in the center. And the third one. And the third circle is 
is uh, okay here from 20. So I'm gonna go to highlight, go to the same thing. So okay now I will go to so now let's go to to the home and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do extrusion chain so okay, I'm gonna highlight this chain here the outside chain and I'm gonna highlight the inside circle so this way I can have this whole thing just done at once okay right click so go inside six millimeter six millimeter okay so now we got this one now I need I need to do the up the outside the, the, the extrusion so I'm gonna say extrusion again a chain so I'm gonna choose this circle here and other circle here right click between so I'm gonna move for up about three millimeter okay so I'm done with that okay now I need to, to make a mirror of this one so how I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna just bring back the the uh, the base references I need around the front plane okay here is the front plane okay so what I'm going to do first I'm going to just highlight the shape okay and make a mirror around this line here and make the mirror Oh, okay, here a mirror for this one. Okay. Say okay. And good. So now I'm in the mirror about the front plane. Okay, sure. Yes, everything looks fine. Okay. So let me get the scale. Okay, so now everything looks fine. So we were able to get the two shape, okay, uh, by using the mirror command. Okay. Now the next step is. I'm going to look at the top view. Okay, here is the top view, and what I'm going to do also is just I'm going to highlight the top view, get the top view. Okay, I don't need the front plane anymore, so just using the top view. Oh, here it is. Okay. So now the top view. So now uh, the uh, the top plane. Sorry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the rectangle by center and the dimensions are 100 and the height is 42. Okay, now I need to lock to this plane, okay, which is the top, so everything will be in the top. Now I need to put the center of the plane, It's a, this is why I choose it uh, rectangle by center. So rectangle by center, so I can put the center in the center of the. Let me put it on the top, to the top of this, and I put it exactly on the coordinate plane. Okay, axis. Okay, so now we have the thing. Everything is aligned very well. So now the next step is, I get the circle, which is thirty millimeter. Go to the center here and put one. And put to the other center here and put one. Since I'm unlocked, so I'm going to use a trim feature. Go to the this one and put the other this one. So now I got the shape, the bottom shape. Now the next step is to make the other the other circles here. So the first one is 15 and 10. Okay. So I'm going to put the 15 first. Okay. I like this have a circle. Go to the center. When you see concentric, click. I like the half a second. When you see the concentric, click. And the next one is 10. I'm going to put 10. Go again to highlight the circle. Go to the center. Concentric, click. Highlight. Go to the center and concentric, click. Okay, now let's go to home. Click on home. And now the next step is what? To do the extrusion so I'm gonna just move this one up I'm gonna click on extrude okay chain so this is the first chain chain I'm gonna get the chain and then I'm gonna choose the inside circle and the other inside circle here right click and move down 12 
is very good. Okay, now let's do the other one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go exclude. It's gonna be cut, <coughs> chain. I'm gonna click on this circle and click on the other circle here. Right click on either one of them and go down how much? Three. I'm gonna put three. So I was able to finish this part. Now the, the, the part is done. Okay, we are done. Okay. So as you can see, we were able to accomplish the task in a very efficient way. Okay, I hope you, you, you like the video. Uh, but again, I would I like to thank you for watching the video. And I would like to hear your feedback. And also, you can give me some suggestions about different uh, examples or different drawing that would be beneficiary for uh, people who would like to learn solid edge. Uh, okay, this is will end the session now. And I would like if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and give it a thumb up. Have a wonderful day, and see you soon on another video. Bye bye.